Hi, welcome back to this extra episode of This is my electric sailboat. The first thing, uh, I didn't quite explain it clearly, but um, I'm gonna show you the what devices uses the 12 volts. So, most of the stuff like the fridge and uh, the lights and that kind of stuff, they are all 24 volts. But the radio over there and the tap and now works or sometimes works. Yeah, that also uses 12 volts and the instruments here which are not on. What else? Uh, yeah, autopilot over here uses 12 volt and the pilch pump the two of them yeah that's about it everything else runs on 24 volts and good question about uh, if because the systems are separated uh, if the small battery that is only 125 amp hours for 12 volts if that should run out because the panel that is over there is not that big and it's curved and uh, usually it doesn't give that many amps because of the location and yeah so uh, I was prepared for that so I made a switch I have a down converter that makes 12 volts from 24 volts and I have a switch for that it's over well it's hard to see yeah, it's that over there. It's not a, in good place. After I switch this to this side, all the 12 volt system runs from the 24 volt battery. Is using the converter. And I can show you. That is down here. Oh, over there. behind yeah that's 15 amp now you can see the uh, 12 volt battery which is over here it's a deep cycle AGM battery so I can uh, run it almost to 0% without damaging the battery because it's deep cycle now that is good thing yeah another thing was the uh, about the 80 watt panel why do I have it over there Ooh. there's a reason for that and now I can show you because I don't have a spray hood it's really hard to get one because yeah this boat type is not really common so it should be made made for this boat and usually it's cost much so so now you can see it extends to here and the vents the water drops the rain falling down here okay so, um, some of you have asked uh, about the uh, consumption and the speed and uh, the range of my electric motor and batteries. So, basically, uh, well, I have 500 amp hours in 24 volts. And the motor is uh, drawing, well, uh, what I've been testing is um, to get around four knots, which is, I think, a good uh, cruising speed for this uh, 24 feet long boat. If I go any faster, it's gonna draw a lot more. Like it's gonna double, over double every every knot that I gain speed. It's gonna cost me more than twice the uh, energy. So four is quite good, three is even better, but to get in four knots, 
I'm using 60 amps from the batteries. So that's for about four nuts. Three nuts I can get with 30 amps. So half the amps and I get three nuts in if, if it's completely calm. Two nuts I can get with just more than 10 amps. So that's pretty low. It's like 15 to 10 amps and I can go two nuts in completely calm weather with no waves and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, but to go like in five knots, I can get this to go like now when I have um, restricted the uh, amount of amp amps going to the motor because I realized that the, uh, the controller is making more amps that it's drawing from the batteries. So, with my test I've seen that uh, when I'm drawing like 60 amps from the batteries the controller is putting 80 amps to the motor and the motor is rated to only withstand like 100 amps so I don't wanna test it how, how well it's gonna handle you know if I go over 100 and I've, I've tried to go over like 120 amps and that it, it can take it and it goes pretty fast but for a long run that's not a good idea so I can get this to go in 48 volts if I use the 48 volts mode I can get this to go like now like 4.7 knots but in that case it's drawing like 70 to 80 amps from the batteries in 48 volts so it's more than double the uh, the energy that I that I'm using if you compare it to going just four knots. So that's about that. And somebody asked how long what's the range? Well the number one batteries which are the four that I got inside those are altogether 280 amp hours. Uh, in one weekend I, did, I made a test drive I was cruising using my motor and it was like two and a half hours to to the island over there way over there four knots so using 60 amps I keep it uh, constantly the, the 60 amps and we spent one day over there and it was pretty sunny but you know not that sunny and we were also using like the uh, cooler and that kind of stuff so I was charging the batteries but not that much and the next day uh, I cruised back because it was again completely calm or, or a little bit even a headwind so I was just cruising the whole way back another two and a half hours and again using 60 amps and using the same batteries that I used when I got there and there was a little charging in between but I think only like 10 to well about 10 to 20 amps I got in in between that so it's not that much and basically I was consuming the way there and the way back um, all together five hours cruising with 60 amps so it's 300 amp hours amps 300 amps so yeah and the uh, the batteries are only 280 amps and I got there and it was okay well th the voltage was really low but still it was okay and uh, I, could, I could make it so the range is yeah you can calculate it if you if you're using only 30 amps so going uh, cruising three knots you get longer range than going four knots and if you are going just two and a half knots you get even even longer range so it depends I hope that answered your questions if you have more drop it on the below and uh, I'll try to make another video about it now we are getting close to the harbor so I better start sailing again thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye oh yeah 
I forgot. Uh, somebody asked about my big solar panels. How much um, amps do they produce? So uh, both of them uh, are rated for, if I remember correctly, around eight amps uh, in 24 volts. So together, basically, they they can output um, 16 point something amps in 24 volts. But they are put in together in a series so they double the voltages uh, so the voltage can go up to 60 something volts and the amps are something but because I have this MPPT charger controller I can I can get out of the uh, the panels about 20 amps. I never got more than like 13 amps because the panels are, you know, positioned like that straight up and the sun is never up there in Finland. So I, I basically never get the uh, maximum output out of them here in Finland. I set it to be perfect in Equator, so that's why. And somebody is already asking about why not making them so I could tilt them. I could make it, but uh, they are pretty heavy. They are around uh, 20 kilos each, so it's pretty hard to make it stable and make it adjustable. So that's why they are fixed. So, yeah, the maximum output is should be around 20 amps. I hope that clears things up. I have to go and steer the boat a bit because we are heading into the wrong direction. So, again, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.